Well, hey, everybody, this is Graham at the recordingrevolution.com with yet another five minutes to a better mix tutorial. Where we've been looking at 31 mixing tips in 31 days. And as we look at sort of these last few mixing tips, some of these are very arrangement heavy tips. Again, the last couple of days I've been talking about the arrangement is so important. And as a mixer, you want to do everything possible to make the mix pop. And some of that involves how you arrange, not just the parts, but how you arrange things like panning, okay? So panning, moving tracks anywhere along the stereo spectrum from left to right, center, and anywhere in between can be so powerful. And one thing you can do to make your mix go from intimate and focused in one section of the song, let's say a verse, to popping out and feeling bigger than life in another section of a song, let's say a chorus, without having to do any fancy effects or anything crazy, is to simply use panning to your advantage. One way I like to do this is zero in on a verse and make it mono. Not necessarily mono, the drums are still going to be stereo, but I like to bring all the panning kind of up the center. Guitar up the center, vocal up the center, keyboard up the center, whatever it is. So it's, it seems pretty mono. And then when you come to the chorus, you pan things out wide and you just separate everything from itself. So it's in the center, and then the moment you hit the chorus it opens up. Now, this is a really simple thing, right? This isn't rocket science, but if you do this, you'll notice how easy it is to get an interesting dynamic in your mix. So I wanted to show you an example of a song I did this on where you can hear the verse, real simple, with an acoustic guitar, bass, drums, vocals. Pre-chorus adds another little guitar, but it's still all pretty much up the middle, and the moment we hit the downbeat of the chorus, the guitars get panned left and right, Everything opens up. Take a listen. Once again, back to the start. Once again, I found another. All right, everything that's up the middle. Isn't that awesome? It just feels satisfying as a listener. And that's your goal, right? When you're mixing is to make the end listener feel satisfied and go, ugh, I love this song. All that changed from the verse and the pre-chorus to the chorus, all that changed was a second acoustic guitar, a double, is introduced and instead of having one acoustic guitar, which if you look at my pan automation, this line represents the pan. It's right in the middle. I have the guitar panned hard up the middle. The moment this chorus hits, this guitar pans hard left. And the second guitar, which has been muted up to this point, is panned hard right. So it sounds like the guitar goes from the center to the left and the right. Take a listen to just the guitar. Okay, so that's just introducing the same guitar in the left and the right, nothing fancy. And there's another guitar part, and that's just panned out to the right a little bit, but there was a guitar part in the pre-chorus, the same amount of guitar work, but it was kind of panned up the center, so it just moves kind of from the center to kind of to the right. and has more of a delay on it. But really, there's nothing else that's been added to the mix. But still, it goes from this. To 
to that. And that's really cool. Keep it mono in the verse, open it up to stereo in the chorus, and you can build a cool dynamic. No effects, no plugins needed. Hope that helps. Again, this is Graham at therecordingrevolution.com with five minutes to a better mix. We're almost through the series. Look forward to seeing you in the last few videos.